Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to take you through a tutorial on eyewitness. Eyewitness is an information gathering tool uh, that can be used on on web servers to gather information about the website, about the web server that it's that is being hosted on, and also uh, we can be able to gather information about the default login uh, credentials. Uh, so we are going to work from the terminal, and uh, I'm not going to cover the installation part. We're just going to perform the information gathering using eyewitness. So I'm going to be using uh, different files. I'm going to be using the stxt document. Uh, this document contains a list of websites that we are going to try and gather information from. So this one is stored on the desktop. So we can start. So that's why giving eyewitness. So we're going to use the web protocol. So we're going to use the web protocol and uh, Eyewitness also tries and uh, capture screenshots of the website, including the information that I uh, talked about earlier. So let's just try and uh, gather information from the list of websites that we have on our txt file. So first of all, we want to change the password so that we'll be able to access the file, the txt file that's stored in our directory. Then the next thing is to tell eyewitness uh, the, that we want to work with the file named test.txt. And then we're using the web protocol and I'm going to set the timeout for 15 seconds. So that if uh, if no reply is received, uh, it can the uh, eyewitness will move on to querying uh, another website from the list. So after checking that out, code is fine, is correct. Just hit enter, and then the web request uh, begins. So. We've got a list of 10 websites that we want to gather information from. And after trying to connect, Eyewitness will try to capture the screenshots. As you can see, Eyewitness is trying, is attempting to screen, to take screenshots of the websites listed www.cali.org. Uh, docs.cali.org, tools.cali.org, uh, exploitdb.com, offensivesecurity.com, e-learning uh, at nsu.sc.zw, and other websites. So we just wait for the results now. As you can see, eyewitness hit a timeout time limit uh, while trying to access uh, the hit website and the wae.ac.zw website. So it's retrying.
we're still hitting the timeout limit. Okay, so the process is now done. Uh, and I will just now ask see if uh, I want to save the file. Now, yes. And then my file is saved. So I will just open opens the, the results automatically in your web page. So these are our results. Uh, from the process from the process processing one so we can see that our results are categorized into two categories um, we've got the one with the results uh, where we retain the results then categorized and then we've got the one which is the uh, errors so we've got eight websites that retain results and two websites that retained errors, giving us a total of 10 from our list. So as you can see, <coughs> eyewitness uh, took a screenshot of uh, cut portal, and you can see that uh, cut portal web server is running at this IP address. And uh, it's also Posted on Apache server, Apache on Apache on Ubuntu server. Then uh, we can also see uh, various information uh, about the transfer encoding, uh, the quantum type, and the response code. Uh, then NSU learning uh, resolve to IP address listed there and then it's also being hosted on Kings and running on Ubuntu server and you can also see that uh, eyewitness also gives us a date stamp of uh, the time and date when information was 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 was, was taken and uh, you can also see the screenshot of the of the website. So we can also see that uh, for other servers. Okay, our well, expert TP is running on Sukuri server. And then Google is running on GWS. And then Offensive Security is running on Sukuri again. So now uh, for errors, we've got two errors uh, where we hit a, a timeout limit. So, oh. so Eyewitness was not able to give us a preview of those websites and information relating to the server and the IP of the server. <coughs> so basically this is how it looks. So you can also refer to the source code if you want. You can see the source code of um, NSU e-learning, of the CAT e-learning. You can see the source code of the web page also listed there. So these are our results. So we want to check this folder that was created on our desktop so that we see other results that are contained in the folder. So this is our folder. As you can see, uh, we've got a CSV file containing the ports, the requests that we made. 
So this CSV file contains the protocol, the port, the domain, the request status, uh, the screenshot path, and the source path. So as you can see, we want to check our request status here. Uh, most of them are successful. With only a few that that timed out, these two timed out, and the date and time when the request was made is also listed. Then we also have uh, a CSV file which contains the open ports for each website that was visited, and then the report. That is in HTML format. That's the one that we viewed earlier on. So, in short, uh, this is how IVTech works. And uh, after gathering this information, uh, an ethical hacker or a person requesting such information uh, can either now try and uh, prepare for a penetration testing uh, using tools of, of their choice. So this was our presentation on eyewitness. Thank you for watching.